Normally UFC champs doesn't vacate the belt when they get injured so UFC make an interim title in the absence of the champions to keep the division moving but do you know there are three UFC champions who vacated their belts because of health issues instead of holding it without wasting any time let's start the video number 1 Dominic Cruz in December 2011 Cruz was selected to coach the Ultimate Fighter live against opposing coach Uriah Faber. The trilogy fight between Cruz and Faber was expected to take place on July 7, 2012 at UFC 148. However, on May 7, 2012, Cruz was forced to pull out of the bout citing a torn ACL. One year later, on December 3, 2012, it was revealed that Cruz underwent another ACL surgery. after his body rejected one from a cadaver with an expected recovery time of 6 to 9 months after another year cruz was scheduled to make his return on february 1 2014 at ufc 169 in a unification bout with an interim ufc bantamweight champion enan barao however on a january 6 episode of sports center ufc president dana white announced that dominic cruz had torn his groin and vacated the ufc bantamweight championship white promoted barao to undisputed ufc bantamweight champion who had already defended his interim title twice in the meantime number 2 george st pierre after his ninth consecutive title defense at ufc 167 St Pierre officially announced on December 13, 2013 that he voluntarily vacated his welterweight title and needed to take some time off from MMA. Nearly 4 years after UFC 167, he returned to action on November 4, 2017 at UFC 217. St Pierre defeated Bisping via technical submission in the 3rd round to become the middleweight champion and the 4th person in the UFC history to become a champion in multiple divisions. On December 7, 2017, St. Pierre announced that he was vacating his UFC middleweight title after 34 days of holding the belt. Suffering from ulcerative colitis, St. Pierre wanted to avoid holding up the middleweight division. He had 3 fights left in his UFC contract, but sadly, we never saw the legend's return again. Number 3, Yiri Prohaska. Prohaska fought Glover Teixeira at UFC 275 on June 11, 2022 for the light heavyweight belt. In a back and forth fight which saw both fighters get dropped multiple times, Prohaska won the bout and title via rear naked choke submission in the 5th round, becoming the first Kazakh fighter to win a UFC championship. Prohaska was booked to rematch Teixeira at UFC 282 on December 10, 2022. However, he announced on November 22nd that he was forced out of the fight due to an injury to his right shoulder and will be out of action for at least 6 months. So unlike Ngannou, Sterling or Habib Nurmagomedov, he had vacated the title because he wanted to keep his division exciting. He really deserves props for his action because 6 months are not a too long period to vacate a belt. Let's hope it would not take him too long to recover from the injury. That's all for now. If you want a video on a specific topic, suggest me in the comment section. Now I'll see you in the next video, so till then, do whatever you want.